Hi everyone, this is Alex from the Captured team and in this video I'm going to be taking you through how to convert an FBX file to a GLB file to use with Captured Virtual Staging and upload those compatible assets within there. So we're going to be using a free open source software tool called Blender for this. Um, you can download Blender online, um, it's compatible with both Windows and Mac and I'm going to take you through the process of converting these files. So first things first, just make sure that you have your FBX file downloaded, the one you want to convert, and just make sure that that also comes with all of the textures that are associated with this 3D asset. Um, so just make sure you have all those on file before we begin. Once you know you have those, we'll go back into Blender, and we're gonna just left click and highlight all of this that we can see in front of us. And then we're gonna right click on that and just press delete so we can start with a fresh slate. And then we're gonna go to file, import FBX and then we're going to locate the file in the respective folder here we go so we'll import that in so once that's imported in for this particular asset it's uh, partitioned into two different assets essentially within them one is the desk that you can see is highlighted uh, in orange here and the other is the chair as well so what we're going to need to do is apply textures to all of these so firstly we're going to click on the desk and then we're going to click the shading tab at the top of the blender interface so that's going to kind of split these two windows and then we're going to get the material files that we have within our folder and we are going to drag and drop them individually into here, starting with table albedo. Once that's in there, we're gonna then left click on the color dot, and then we're gonna drag it over to link with the base color. That's connected now. We're gonna do it for the second tab, and you can see that that's actually now started to populate textures within the, the particular asset that we're concentrating on. Now we're gonna drag in table metallic, and we're, again, we're gonna left click on color. Whoops, we're gonna left click on color, and we are going to drag that over to metallic. And the last one for the table is table normal. We'll drag this in. Whoops. Drag that asset in. And for normal, as you can see, there's a little purple window that appears here. So for the normal one, we're actually going to connect the color to the color in this little purple one with the heading normal map. So great, now they're both connected. We're gonna do exactly the same for the chair asset as well. So you can see all those textures have come through really nicely on the, on the table side. We're gonna click the chair and we're gonna do exactly the same thing. So highlight chair albedo, drag and drop into here. We're gonna link that with base color at the top. Same with chair metallic, drag and drop into here, and color on metallic is going straight into the metallic field within here. And then finally, chair normal, drag that in, whoops, drag that in, and we're gonna connect the color here with the color on this little window here. So as you can see, now all of the textures are populated. It looks really awesome. Now it's time to export this asset uh, and convert it to, to GLB. So we're going to click the Layout tab along the top here, and we're going to highlight the whole asset, everything we want to convert and export. And after that's highlighted, we're going to click File and Export, and we want to export as GLTF 2.0, which is also GLB. Just before we do that, make sure that we click Include and just click Selected Objects. And I'm just going to call this Desk. And I'm going to save this within the same folder so it's all nicely organized. And I'm going to click Export. So that'll take a few seconds to export. And then once you've done that, you'll have the GLB file to access and you can upload that straight into captured virtual staging and start staging your property.